keep getting the ASDF references going. Hi, everybody. Quick review when you go to do the activity today. Make sure you go to the GDB site. And remember, when you're in here, if you do a new project, you can get rid of this uh, sidebar. Make sure you've got your language set to C++. So I'm over here, I've got this set to C++. And make sure you do a sample run. What we're trying to figure out is we've gotten some message to say connection to the server has gotten lost. And once you've done that, then you should be able to copy and paste the code from one of a couple different areas. One of them is a sample assignment. The other is in Google Classroom. Mr. Judge? Yep. Um, so as you were gone, I tried something out. So what I did was I highlighted all the way from the very top down to um, the closed parentheses, like that's next to the uh, double slashes. This is the end of the function body. Okay. So I only copied that one and then pasted it on the um, on a new project, and it seems to be working for me. I think. Okay, that's good. That's encouraging. So I'm gonna I'm gonna grab some sample code from the class with today's activity. Give me instructions here. There we go. So I'm gonna grab the sample from here. Actually, I'm gonna do Control A to select all, and Control C to copy. Pop back into online GDB that open. I'll open a new window. It's fine. There we go. New project. Select C++ class. This. Run the sample. Make sure I see hello world down here. Good deal. Now that that's working, I'm going to come below their comment. I don't know why. Just Paste it in here. It doesn't seem to be working. Oh, no. There's the paste. Okay. Let's go ahead and try this. See if I get a connection to the server's been lost error, which has been haunting us here, or if it runs. That's good. We got to a point. I'm going to hide these tools here. And what, what it's asking for now is it's asking for a number. And if you were to look at the instructions, I don't remember what the values are, but let's try 11 and 33. And all we want to do here is pass these two values down into a function. So I'm going to open this up a little bit. So we're sending the first number, 11, and the second number, 33, down into our function. They are 11 and 33, and the result is 44. That gets returned. This is a lot of documentation to hopefully describe to you what's going on with uh, passing the data in. So I'm going to bring up that same prompt again. That's pretty much a demo of what I need you to do to start. And then once you're in here, you'll be basically using this as a pattern to copy and paste. You'll have another one. You, I want you to rename sample function name to, to accurately describe what it does. And using this as a model, you'll do one for subtract, multiply, divide, remainder. If you, if, if you don't get to that one, you don't, can't figure it out, we'll talk about it tomorrow. I want to give people the chance to try to figure things out, not just spoon feed you. All right, I'm going to stop this screencastify because I think that's good. Remember to let me know when you have questions.